One of the ways to make it easy to work in Excel is to know the handy shortcuts for moving in a worksheet or within a workbook. In this video, we'll be looking at time-saving Microsoft Excel navigation keyboard shortcuts. So the first Excel keyboard shortcut that we'll be looking at is the Control Up key. At any point in time, when you hit the Control Up arrow key, you notice that your selected cell will jump to the very first row of that particular column. Now look at what happens. As this set is selected, once I hit Control Up key, it will jump to the first row of that particular column. Control Up key, first row of that particular column at any instance. So Control Down key, what will it do? So your guess is as good as mine. It will jump to the last row of that particular column. All right, so Control Up, first row of that particular column. Control Down, at any instance, the last row of that particular column. Is that not super awesome? Now, the next keyboard shortcut key that we're looking at is the control left and right. So, what happens when you press control right? Now, watch. So, control right will move you to the end of a particular table. So, in this particular worksheet, we'll have two tables. And these two tables is differentiated by the different colors. So, hitting control right arrow key again will move you to the end of that particular table. Is that not awesome? So control left arrow key will move you to the beginning of the table. Control left arrow key will move you like that. Is that not amazing what you can do with Excel keyboard shortcuts? So the next Excel keyboard shortcut key that I'll be looking at is the control G. So this control G, what it actually does is to take you to a particular place within your workbook okay so hitting ctrl g you notice that these are the different places that we can go to as you can see in this particular workbook we have the intro worksheet this particular worksheet and the 5000 sales record 2 worksheet all right so each of them have their own set of data now notice what will happen eventually when i click on any one of this table so suppose we want to go to the third workbook you can select table 135 and when you hit ok it will take you to the second table in the third workbook and once you are taken here you notice that the whole table in that particular worksheet is selected by default so Control g and table 14 hit ok so the first table in this particular worksheet is selected so Control g table Let's say table one. Notice what will happen now. It will take us to the second worksheet. Is all right? So, of the first table. Now, you can also go ahead to select special. All right? So, here you can go, you can select all the cells that are blank. You can select all the cells that have conditional formatting. You can select all the cells that has data validation. How awesome could that be? You can select all the cells that has constant. So suppose you want to go to the last cell. So select last cell and hit OK. So it will take you to the last cell. But not to worry, I'm going to show us how to eventually use a keyboard shortcut key to go to the last cell without going through this process. So that is that about Control G. Now we go ahead to look at Control Page Down. What does Control Page Down do for you? So Control Page Down will switch you between worksheets. Is that right? See how I'm switching between my worksheets now? So I'm in the second worksheet, the third worksheet. Pressing Control Page Up will move me to the second worksheet. Under Control Page Up will move me to the first worksheet. All right? So these are navigation keys that you can use within Excel worksheet and your Excel workbook. So now we go to the second phase of our Excel navigation keyboard shortcut keys. So what happens when you press down Alt Page Down? So Alt Page Down will move you between screens, so visible screens on your Excel worksheet, all right? So it will take you to the next visible screen. And when you press down Alt Page Up, it will return you back to where you started, all right? So these are very easy and fast way to move between your worksheet in Microsoft Excel. Now, what happens when you press down Control Home? The Control Home key will take you to the very first cell. That is the first row and the first column. So when you press Control End, your guess is as good as mine. It will take you to the last row of the last column in that particular Excel worksheet. Is that not super awesome? Control Home and Control 
end all right now this how to actually navigate your excel worksheet on your excel workbook now there are other excel worksheet keyboard shortcut keys that we can look at which is very familiar with us at any instance when you press page up or page down it will just move you to the next page either up or down is okay at any instance when you press the home key it will take you to the first column of that particular row so these keyboard shortcut keys are actually very easy to implement hope you got value in this video in the next video we are going to be looking at amazing excel keyboard data selection tools where you learn how to easily select set of data range of data on your screen is a video on microsoft excel advanced keyboard shortcuts I'm sure you want to watch that. Click the video now to watch that video. Excel made easy.